let's get unready. Okay, so my skin type is combination. I have combination skin. Sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's oily. I tend to get shine on my forehead, my nose, and then during the summertime my skin is obviously a little bit more oily, and then during winter time it tends to be very dry. And I still live in Minnesota, so winter is really long and cold. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands first, and then we're gonna dive into the skincare. So we're gonna start with step number one. This product is the Tasha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. What I'm doing is I'm gonna put a little bit of the cleansing oil onto the rag and basically remove my makeup. Okay, so I'll be honest, I've been watching <laughs> the videos and one of my favorite is Serena's. And so seeing that she used coconut oil to remove her makeup and that she's been doing it for a while really inspired me to like start using cleansing oils more often to remove makeup opposed to like just wipes or just going straight into washing. Look at how much foundation and, and concealer that it already removed and it really is, it really feels gentle on the skin. And Serena Williams recommended, so do I have to say anymore? <laughs> Another thing that I learned is you have to be gentle when, you wa you're, when you're washing your face, drying your face. You don't wanna go in and like ever rub too hard or, cause you might, you might damage your skin and you have to treat it very gentle. So we're gonna move to step number two, but as you can see, I left the oil on because this is actually a double whammy. So on one hand, you're using the oil to kind of like grease your face, remove the makeup, but you're leaving it on and we're gonna go and use the Tasha Rice Polish Classic. And this is basically an exfoliant. It comes in the form of a powder and I'm gonna put a little bit on my hands and add water and it's gonna create a foam. This is like a, a little BB science <laughs> science project because poof went in the powder and then came out the foam. And this we're gonna apply it all over, all over my face to basically get the foam working. Whatever products you use on your face, make sure you're giving that same love and nurture to your neck because the neck and the ears, they also, they also need attention. <laughs> For me, what works is exfoliating maybe once, twice a week max um, because a good cleanse is supposed to clean your face and then you're also removing makeup, but you don't need to necessarily constantly be exfoliating, exfoliating your skin because it could actually make your skin really dry and take away all the essential oils and your natural oils. Too much of anything is bad, and exfoliating is not an exception. Another great skincare line is Dermalogica. I'm obsessed with their moisturizers, I'm obsessed with their cleansers. So yeah, don't be afraid to just like shop around, and we all have like different skincare needs, and you almost have to like test different lines out to see what is most compatible with your skin. So our next step is using the Tasha Luminous Skin Mist. The reason why I'm obsessed with this product is A, I use it on the plane quite often and you know like planes are very drying, I tend to fly a lot and this is like just the easiest skincare to to use because you're basically just spraying your face. You could you could have makeup on, you could not have makeup on and you spray two times, two three times and you immediately feel your skin hydrated. I feel like I have a nice glow like glow to my skin after I use it and it's just easy to easy to use. So another really important key is not not forgetting to take care of your lips. So I really love this. It's by Bite Cosmetics and it's the Agave Lip Balm. I think the lips are also a really important part of this the nighttime skincare routine. Our next step is moisturizer. And I love using the Tasha Moisturizer. First of all, it comes in the cutest little packaging and it's perfect for traveling. I throw it in my purse and uh, use it on the plane. The transformation that my skin has gone through ever since I started using Tasha products six months ago has just been really unbelievable. So the way I tend to apply my moisturizers is I like to focus on the three points of my face. My cheeks. Okay, I said three, but we're gonna go for four. <laughs> you know, I wear the hijab, so t today I can't obviously like show you my full nighttime routine, but um, I'm still going into my neck to show you that it's still an important part 
of your face but um, usually when I'm ha when I'm at home like I will take whatever the product is that I'm putting on my face and I will actually go down all the way to like where my collarbone is and make sure that my neck is also getting the same products. I go up to my ears and make sure that I'm moisturizing them too. Um, that's a lot of products <laughs> to be using, but then it really makes a difference because then your skin is very uniform. Another thing I really love doing is just taking this time when I'm applying my moisturizer, whether it's in the morning, whether it's at nighttime, to like massage my skin. It's a moment of reflection. If it's nighttime, I tend to, when I'm doing my skincare, I tend to think of you know, like reflecting on how my day went. If it's morning time, I tend to like take that time to plan out my day. Um, so skincare could be like a spiritual thing as well. It's a moment of reflection, but it's also a moment to remind myself some of the most important mantras I, I carry in my life. And that's basically two things. It's always been, don't change yourself, change the game. I love that quote because I apply it to my life. I've always have and you know, I think Part of the reason why I've had so much success in, in fashion and being the first hijab wearing model and like going on to become a UNICEF ambassador is because I've remained true to myself and in doing that it's changed the game and now it's opened doors for so many women in my community to go out and pave the way and make their own firsts and it's just an incredible thing to keep in mind as I'm starting my day or if I'm going to bed. The second thing is really simple, sis. It's basically don't sleep with makeup on. So honey is a really good anti-inflammatory skin protectant. And basically I apply it to my face and I every time like I get a little bit of a breakout by using honey, my skin just basically goes back to its natural state and blemishes and pimples and acne, they tend to go away naturally simply by using honey. Aloe vera, same thing, it's a natu it's naturally hydrating. Um, sometimes I'll put, I'll cut up the aloe vera, cut it up into little like pieces, stick it in the fridge, take it out, and then just like massage my face. And I notice a huge difference immediately. And turmeric, well, <laughs> turmeric is African's best kept secret because my mama, my grandma, it's been like a generational thing even since my family was back in Somalia because it naturally brightens the skin, it's very organic, and you see an, a difference immediately in your skin. But sometimes if you go too crazy, I've also had times where I would go to school and people would be like, uh, are you a little yellow? Do you have like a little yellow tint to your skin? <laughs> so make sure that when you use turmeric, be very gentle with it, period. <laughs> so our last and final step is the Dermalogica Under Eye Multivitamin Power Firm Age Smart Dermalogica Under Eye Cream. I just think the under eye area is really important to focus on. Give it that same love and care and nurture. Um, and make sure that you're taking care of your under eye. So that was my nighttime skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching.